afternoon. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Fitness Challenge. Today is the end of Pay the Fun Forward week. So for Pay the Fun Forward, we're literally just doing that. We're making sure that our week is as happy and healthy and wonderful as it can be and making sure that it's as happy and wonderful for everybody else too. So maybe that's doing the whole pay for the person behind you coffee type of thing. Maybe it's um, bringing some donations to a food bank. Maybe it's um, writing some cards with your kids to give to the local fire department. Something like that. So just kind of fun and different. So to make sure that today is a little fun and different, I have all of our exercises in here. So we have four pairings, whatever these four pairings are. We'll do A for a minute, then take a little break, B for a minute, take a little break, A for a minute, and B for a minute. And then we will pick two new exercises and go through that. So I have for my exercise pleasure, I have um, some different pairs of weights here. I also have a kettlebell because one of them is a kettlebell swing. I'll tell you that right now. I don't know where it's going to be in the workout, but it is. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can definitely use a weight and do it together or separate. So grab what you need, have it all available because you won't have a ton of time in between to be grabbing different weights as far as getting them from far away. So we have upper body and lower body exercises. There is no jumping. There are no burpees, even though it was a request from someone who is not taking class. But if they're not taking class, they don't get to vote. Um, so we're going to start very shortly, in about 30 seconds. Make sure you have your space. Make sure you have your um, resistance if you're going to use it. Obviously, if you don't have any resistance, that's totally fine. Come join us. Just maybe make the intensity a little bit harder by going things a little bit faster, but still within your scope of um, reference in what you're comfortable doing. So my name is Jen and we're going to get it started. Notice my nice little flower set up today. Okay. So we're going to do a little warm up first. So we're not doing any jumping. So we're not going to jump. But if you want to, by all means, you can. So the, um, motto, the, um, image for pay the fun for because of sunflower. I don't have access to sunflowers, but I have access to yellow daisies. So it's not the same. And I really wanted to dress like flower today. And I really wanted to have a yellow top, but I don't have a yellow top that's not super hot and sweaty. So I have my green pants and my purple sun purple flower. All right, let's kick forward, tap, back. Tap, making sure they have enough room. Oh, so I just picked my own wall as a demonstration that I don't have enough room. One more. Let's switch. So the set before each of the exercises is going to be a minute long. We do it two times through. And if you need to take a break at any point in time, please do so. All right, let's move this hard. You're probably going to need to adjust the weight or take breaks. And we'll go through it all when we go through the exercises, so don't worry. Come, let's come over the top and switch. Let's do one more. Let's come away so we have a little space. Let's roll it down. Bend those knees. Come on up. Stand nice and tall. Do that two more times. Come on down. Bend those knees. Come on up. Nice and tall. Come on down. Bend those knees. Now walk those hands out to a plank. Hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it back, nice and slow. Come on up. We're gonna do that one more time. Let's roll it down. Let's walk it out to a plank. Make sure it's a nice, beautiful plank. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's walk it back. And roll on up. 
All right, let's pick our first two exercises. What are they going to be? We have kettlebell swing. And we have a squat. So we have two lower body exercises together. Totally fine. So I think I'm just going to use my kettlebell for both resistance for this one. You can totally make anything without resistance, including the kettlebell swing. So let me go through the kettlebell swing really fast. So we're going down and coming up. So your hands are holding the weight, obviously, but they're not doing any of the work. The work is coming from the glutes, pushing forward and back. And then if I have my weight for my squat, I'm just going to come back and up. So it's a minute of one to the minute to the other, to the minute to one to the minute to the other. Sound good? All right, grab your weight that you're going to use. And we're going to start in four, three, two, one. All right, so we're going with that kettlebell swing. If you have a lighter weight and you want to switch halfway, we're switching when the gravity is that tiny little second where things are just holding in the air, where we can let go and release without causing a big issue if your weight is light enough for that. It may not be. And if that's the case, then my weight's together. So I'm going much slower here than would allow. So I'm just demoing the movement. Once we're going, we're going nice, fluid, and in control. We have 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. All right, you have 15 seconds to switch over to what you're going to do for your squats, including holding nothing. Now, if you have nothing for the kettlebell, I totally forgot to mention, you can still do that motion just with your arms. And I totally forgot to even tell you that. So if we're doing no weights, that's totally fine. We're sitting back and down, and if you want to, as always, use something to physically sit on and come back up, whether that's a chair, a bench, a step. We're just tapping down that tiny little bit and then coming back up. Your weights can be nowhere. Your weights can be down here in more of a suitcase squat style. Your weights can be up here in a shoulder rack style, or they can be here, just right in front of your chest. It all depends on what you need to do your balance and what works well on your forearms. I like to have my weights down here. And my knees are right under my hips, which are right above my ankles. All right. We're going to go through one more time of each of those, starting with the kettlebell swing. All right, let's see. So pushing with those hips, regardless of the weight that we have, and regardless of the type of hand movement we have, you can still do the alternative hand movement with no weight. time through with those squats. Three, two, one. So we 
and down and back, we could lift those toes up off the ground if we so desired. I would like to have a nice flat foot on the ground so you know that you have a nice good base of support, but if you wanted to lift those toes, you could. We have 30 more seconds, and we have a little bit longer of a break so we can pick the next two exercises. And if you have no weights and you want to make this a little bit more intense, so cardio-wise, up and down, faster. You pick the speed, you pick the intensity, you pick the weight. Three, a two, a one. All right, what's next? You have a 45 second break, so it's gonna be at 15, and that's gonna give us an extra 30. We have a right, or sorry, a left to lead lunge, and we have an upright row. Okay, so with the lunges, we're going to do it all on one side. So my left foot is in front, and I'm going to do a static lunge the whole time, or I could lunge and reset, and lunge and reset forward or back, totally my choice. Options. And then exercise two, and we can do that with weights or without weights. Exercise two is an upright row. And we're going to be standing up nice and tall, and we're going to do, um, we pause this. And we have either a single arm at a time, or doubles, depending on how we feel. All right, so we're going to start with that left lead lunge in three, two, one, and let's go. So we can lunge forward and reset or we can stay down the whole time it's totally up to us totally up to you and you can have weights same thing here you can have them by your chest you can have them down in a suitcase style you can have them wrapped by your shoulders and you pick the intensity you pick the speed and I'm picking fixing my shoe Don't feel like you need to match my speed. I'm your coach today. This is your workout. And I want you to make that work out the best you can. We have 10 more seconds. And there's no right leg for this round. It'll come later, we have it. But it's just the left. All right, so we're gonna do this upright row. So grab your resistance. If you have it, you can also do this one with a band. by putting the band underneath your feet and lifting up. You may have to do one arm at a time because of the band, but it's always an option. All right, so going up and down. We're together. But we're bringing those elbows up and we're keeping those shoulders down the whole time. So if I was with the band, the band underneath my feet, and I lift one or the other, or depending on the tension in the band, both. So this is an option too. You have 15 more seconds here. Let's go back to those left lead rows. So that same leg, both times through. Two, one, and let's go. I do ask that whatever style of lunge you're doing this round, that you do the same with the other side. And if you did a type A for Round one and a tight B for round two, that's totally cool. Just make sure that you're matching. You're matching the intensity, you're matching the speed, you're matching the weight, and you're matching the depth. All those things to think about. If you always want to make these exercises harder, you can always put 
your front foot up on a yoga block or a book for a small step. Or you can take do a um, Bulgarian lunge and take his back leg and put it on a step or a bench. Something like that to lift that up. Yoga block. Just don't stack yoga blocks on top of yoga blocks. They will not stay. And relax. All right, one more time with those up right rows. And if you have no weights, I'll show you. I'll start with no weights. All right, let's begin. I am pulling up, and I'm imagining that my arm weighs like a bazillion pounds. And I am working against my own resistance here. And guess what? I still feel it. I don't feel the same as I would with a weight because it's, it's different. But if I actually literally concentrate a lot on all those muscles and resisting myself, I can make it challenging. So, no weights, no excuses. Fifteen seconds. Then we get that forty-five second break. So we're gonna pick it up next. The way nobody knows. Can't look at the cheat sheet beforehand. Sometimes when you look beforehand, you kind of pace yourself a little bit. You know those burpees are coming. Round three. All right, we have a left wood chop and our right lunge. Okay. So for our left wood chop, we're going to take our weight and we're going to swing it from the left, top left, to down. And then we're going to do the right lunge. So for that, I'm going to need just one weight <coughs> for the wood chop and then whatever weight I use for the lunge. So starting with that wood chop. In four, in three, in two, and more twisting. If you're doing this exercise later, when you want to use a band, if you have a door attachment for your band, which is basically a little piece of rubber or foam or something that goes behind the door when you close it so it keeps it a nice solid anchor point, you can do this with a band by bringing it somewhere up high, usually on the top of the door frame, and rotating. I did this the other day on a BOSU and it was fun. Did that at the gym. So if you're at the gym and you see us, let us know. We can help, definitely help you out. All right, we have 15 more seconds left. Let's go into that right lunge. We have a couple seconds. Adjust, grab some water, grab your weight, grab your whatever we're gonna do. And our right leg, left, right leg is leading. All right, so whatever you did. And stare at my beautiful flowers. They're six days old at this point, so they're doing pretty good. All right, we have 23 seconds left here. And always, these are suggestions of things to do. If you're like, Jen, if I do another lunge, I'm going to blow my gasket, do something else. We'd like you to work similar muscle groups, but if your quads are shot and you don't want to do push-ups instead, that's fine. All right, we're going back to those wood chops. 
So somewhere in there, which will be next, because we're running out of pairs, we're going to do the wood chop to the other way in our next pair. But what the other exercise is, I know, because that's the only one left. But what could it be? I'd say put your comment down below, but you're working out, so you can't. I asked other team leaders to give me pairs to put in this. So if you have some fun exercises that you want to put in for a future cry back, let me know. As long as you're willing to do that exercise, don't tell me something you're not willing to do. Three, two, one. All right, we're going back to the lunge on the right lead leg. Ready? Slow and controlled with no weight. Slow and controlled with a lot of weight. No weight, a little faster. Elevated foot. Whatever you want. The good news is in 30 seconds, all of our lunges are over. So there's no more lunges left. And we have done three out of the four parents. Twelve more seconds. Actually kneel down so I stay in frame. We're just going to take it and go above our head and make a circle. So I'd say for, if you want to do all one direction for that minute and then do all the other, the other way for a minute, that's fine. If you want to switch every five repetitions, whatever you want to do, just make sure that you're equal forward and back. All right, so I'm going to stay down here, but you can definitely stay standing. We're doing this little circle right overhead and making ourselves a little halo. So I'm going to switch halfway through and I will tell you when that is. Alright, so now I'm switching directions to so 30 seconds left. You can do this with a plate at the gym. Some people will do this together with a tricep extension. I'm not adding the tricep extension today, but that's something people do, especially to keep the blood kind of in our arms a little bit. Because it does seem to drip down to our shoulders and relax. All right, so we have that wood chop on the other lead side. So I'm going to go with my right side. I said I my left before, but everything's the exact same. Whatever we did, we're doing with this side too. All we have is a little more than one minute of work left. Ten. 
Ten more seconds here. Oh, I take that back because we still need to do. Never mind. I totally lied to you. We have one minute of halos and one more minute of the wood chops. I just jumped right into thinking we were already done with the wood chops. All right, so let's do some halos. So we have two minutes of work left. And I hate it when instructors go five more, and then after five they go three more. So. Definitely on that train, so I hate it when someone someone lies to me about the time. If you're switching halfway with me, this is the halfway point. And your halos can be bigger than mine, they can be smaller than mine, it's totally fine. And I want to make sure that it's my upper body that's moving, not my lower body. It's moving. 15 more seconds. We have 25 seconds left. Final time. Make sure we're hydrating. All right, let's just do some arm swings on top and on bottom. And I'm sure I have full extension. Switch. Bring those arms behind. Let's see now over. You can bend those knees. And then one up. Grab something for balance if you want it. Let's do a quad stretch. Don't feel like if you need balance that that's a bad thing. You can definitely concentrate a lot more on your stretch. You don't have to worry about balance. And cross it over to the back, especially if you've had a long day, a long workout. There's nothing negative about holding on the balance. Something's there, I always take advantage. All right, let's cross it over. And beyond. Hamstring stretch, back leg. All right, I'm going to switch over to the other side. Bring that foot back. What I love to do is I love to spend a couple minutes stretching at the end of my workout, either before or after a shower, depending on what's going on. But then I also like to cross over and sit back to stretch in a couple hours. Let's start things to tighten up. I see really what I really need to focus on a little bit more. All 
cross it over, lean. Come on up. Let's turn and face the wall. We didn't do any jumping, but let's stretch out those calves anyway. Calves always need love. And switch it up, other side. Come back to the center. Bring one arm up, over, set stretch. Other arm over, side stretch. Come back to the center. Just turn, face one way, stretch out that side of the neck. And the other way. Come back to the center. We're done. That's it. Awesome work. Thank you for joining me for this special little fitness grab bag for today. I hope you had a really great Pay the Fun Forward week. And if you haven't had a chance to play the Fun Forward, you saw Saturday and Sunday. Let me know if you do anything fun. Bye.